Praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen, my son, Pastor Faustin. Now, listen, the Lord has spoken with me. Uh, for the past three days, the Lord has been speaking with me about uh, there is a situation that is about to develop. And I see one of the U.S. warships. This is aircraft carrier because I see the runway on the warship. And uh, I see the president of that country, of the USA, wearing military boots there. And I was also there in the dream. And the Lord was telling me there's another warship there with with uh, even B-52 bombers. Those are now nuclear bombers. They carry the nuclear warheads. And there was a situation the Lord showed me that is going to develop. It is going to involve the United States of America. And uh, th these are very important days we live in. When you see this kind of arrangement, this kind of prophecy finally hit the landscape of church. When you see the Lord speak about this kind of thing at this hour, it uh, speaks very clearly about the hour we are in, we have, we have entered into. And uh, the Christians use their spiritual eyes to see these things. And they develop the necessary understanding of what these things mean in the spiritual realm. And especially towards the glorious coming of the Messiah. I have seen the coming of the Messiah and I've seen that the church, the Messiah, takes that he will take. I've seen the church taken. It's a glorious church. It's a holy church, a righteous church. Is a church that lives in the fear of God, absolute, absolute fear of God. They're totally committed to the cause of righteousness and uprightness and right standing with the Lord. And so it's their daily endeavor to always please God, to walk in the glorious salvation or purity that Jesus unveiled at the cross. So these are the hallmarks that the church needs to wear at this hour when the Lord speaks such prophecy of major monumental events, conflicts, and you can see the developments around the Middle East now. They really point towards a serious meltdown. And uh, many, many churches right now are not even ready. Many pastors have not cared about preparing the sheep, their churches. And yet the glory of the Lord is visiting in a very, very mighty way, visiting the body of Christ, the church, through the church in Kenya here. And that is why, that is why um, the Lord is clamoring out and crying out to the church, to the nations, to everybody to repent and receive Jesus and observe holiness, be holy, be righteous, because nobody knows the day or the hour. Again, I see a U.S. warship. It's an aircraft carrier. I see. I don't know why he puts the president of the U.S. in that warship, but now wearing military boots. And then uh, I'm also aware that he makes me know that there's another warship nearby which has even B-52 bombers, but has helicopters also that can respond in case of a situation and so forth. These uh the Apache, the Black Hawk, these fast helicopters, the war strike helicopters. And so the Messiah is coming. The Lord, my God, is coming. May those who have ears hearken to these words and prepare for the glorious coming of the Messiah, the Son of Man the living stone, the Christ that is returning, the cornerstone of Zion, our everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, Emmanuel, the true 
living bread from heaven. The word of God, the lion and the lamb shall be.